Happy day 44, you guys. We miss you. Uh, we do, we're going crazy, we miss you, and uh, can't wait to see you all again soon, hopefully soon. Yeah, please let us know how the workouts are going and mm -hmm. tag us when you guys work out. Definitely, yeah, keep tagging us, we love seeing that. And then if you do have any workout ideas or something you wanna try that we haven't done before, let us know. Yep, yeah. so question of the day, being, uh, being as, seeing as we are all at home a lot more now, what is your least favorite chore that you have to do? That you have to do? Or okay, well, you should do. Um, I don't know why, but like dusting. I mean, I I'll, I dust because I don't like dirty and yes. dusting. Just, just for some reason, I feel like this is such a nuisance. <laughs> like, can there just be no dust in here, please? I absolutely hate folding laundry. Like putting clothes in the washer and the dryer, that is fine. But then when it comes like actually folding it and putting it You just it have away. your piles of clean clothes. Uh, yeah, it usually takes me like average four or five days to fold a load of laundry, so. You know, okay. it's okay. You know, no so judgment. So one chore that you guys have to do right now, but you don't like to. Yeah, what's the one thing? The yep. one hiccup. What takes you four days to put away and fold? Yep. So fun little workout we've got for you guys today for our warm up. We just wanna make sure we're opening up our hips and getting our legs nice and warm because we're gonna start with a one mile run. That's right. So um, find a wall and we're just gonna get some leg swings front to back here. I don't recommend wearing Crocs for the workout, but for the video purposes, they're okay. They're so versatile. They are. Um, once you get 10 leg swings front to back, you're gonna switch legs. If you do wear Crocs in the workout, make sure you put them into workout mode, <laughs> put the strap back, and then they will stay on. Is that workout mode? Oh yeah, right foot's in workout mode, left foot is still a little relaxed right now. Once you get leg swings front to back, you're gonna go across your body. You just want 10 each side. And then you'll switch. Once you get those leg swings, we're gonna do a 15 second quad stretch on each side. Remember to grab your balloon. <laughs> you make the noise. <laughs> That's good. Also, for some reason, I keep thinking about it. Like just Pennywise. Oh, the red, balloon. yeah. Okay, never mind. Don't <laughs> hold the balloon anymore. <laughs> Scratch that idea. It's never coming. think about that again. And then switch. What does he say? Do you want to play? Wow, I'm going to be sleeping with the lights <laughs> on tonight. <laughs> Never stretching your quad again. No, ever. <laughs> Anytime it starts to stretch. <laughs> anyway. All right, after 15 seconds each side, we're gonna do a calf stretch. It's a quick 15 seconds today. Okay, I like it. A variation on this is you can always go up against the wall. Watch out for your ducks. <laughs> There's like, does he know that they're literally in front of him? <laughs> Switch. Good, after that, you guys, we're gonna do our grass grabber. So we've got a wide stance here. Just make sure you are doing these stretches longer than we are. You should yes. be holding these Sorry. for a minimum, probably 30 seconds on some of these, right? And, yes. and then maybe up to a minute. I'm not very yeah. patient right now. It's not- She's like ready to rock. She just wants I to make am. videos. So uh, we got 10 grass grabbers with our grass grabbers. Your feet are outside of your hips and you're gonna reach in front of your toes in line with your feet and behind your toes and then stand. So it's just a little hamstring stretch here. We've got 10. Oh, I feel it. You too. <laughs> we'll do all 10 of these. That's four, right? I'm not counting. So. It's so terrible. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys, last thing before we go over the workout, I just want you to do 25 jumping jacks in place just to get your heart rate heart rate a little bit warmed up before you go into this workout. Mm -hmm. So 25 jumping jacks. Are we doing less than five? It's not that many, yes. You 
You gotta smile the whole time. <laughs> <Don't get laughs> <in the back>. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your oh, neck? I don't know. <laughs> I do. I think. Twenty-five. Or keep doing more. I'm just a little slower than oh. you. See, I'm impatient. She's like. Psh. All right, for today's workout, we've got um, a one mile run, some movements, and then we're gonna finish with a one mile run. And this is one uh, Colleen and I have done together and it was actually quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit of a variation on what we did a few weeks ago in the gym and it's a little bit longer. I think it's better too. So, yeah. starting out with a one mile run, make sure you set a good pace. We don't wanna kill yourself for the rest of the workout. We wanna make sure we're consistent and moving the whole time. We don't want you to be really resting a lot during this, right? Uh, once you get back from your mile run, you're gonna get into a sit-up position and do 100 sit-ups. Now for our sit-ups, we're gonna be doing butterfly sit-ups where knees are apart. She's making sure she's tapping the floor behind her head and then tapping her toes when she comes up. It's two, three, 97 more, 96 more. Yeah. Okay, anyways, once she's done with those 100 sit-ups, and again, Try to pace yourself with these. You don't want to bust out like a ton of them and then have to take a really long break. Mm -hmm. Consistent, slow movements. She's going to go into 100 alter alternating crunches. So she's going to be in the same position, hands probably behind her head and just a crunch. And then she's going to alternate each side. Yep. You notice she's not picking her whole body up off the ground like a sit up, right? After she's done with those 100 alternating crunches and alternating, so it's 50 on each yeah. side, 100 total. She's going to get onto her belly and she's going to be doing 100 supermans. So Superman is gonna be lifting your arms and your legs off the ground, just like that. So that's three, four, five, six. Those are probably gonna be a little faster than your sit-ups, but you can burn on, out on them just as fast. Last movement is gonna be side lifts, and we're gonna do 50 on each side. So she's gonna get onto her right side first. She's gonna be on a right side plank position. You notice all she's doing is bringing her hips up off the ground. And then when she's done with 50 on one side, she's gonna flip around. Do 50 on her other side. Oh, those are perfect. And of course, once you're done with all 400 movements here, we're gonna go back into a one mile run. We wanna try to have that last mile and that first mile to be same, or if anything, have that second mile be a little bit faster. Just push a little bit more, especially those last, you know, four or 500 meters. Yeah, so like when Dominic and I did it, like he mentioned, looking at our times, that first mile when you come in, look at your clock, and then the second mile, as you're leaving, look at that clock again. And I know on my run, I was like, okay, I wanna come in under this time. So I knew what my goal was. And if I came in under that time, I would have beaten my first mile. That's right, yep. Yep. On these sit-ups, um, break them up smart, like Dominic said. I know for me, sit-ups are really hard. So I have to do like 25, break, 25, break, versus Dominic did like 50, and then broke. I think the first one was 100. Or he just did. You know, no, always you know. counting. So just make sure you guys are moving consistently, but smart sets and then push it to try and beat that first mile run. That's right. Yep. Pace yourselves. Have fun with it. Let us know how it goes. We really want to see your time comparison. If you did that last one a few weeks ago to this one, just see how it went. Cause we actually sped our time up on this, yeah. even though it's more movements and a longer workout. So yep. yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.